Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Today we're going to be talking about FPS and ping. So we're going to go through and determine which one is the problem on your computer and how to fix it. First of all, if you're new here and you like tech fixes, tutorials, and gaming, make sure you smack that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go and just jump right into it, shall we? We'll go through and choose. Number one is going to be how to see your FPS in game. If you want to have your frames per second on the screen, video number one is going to go through and show that to you. So most people set their FPS at 30 or 60 and try to keep it around that rate. Some people will try to pump it up like crazy, like 144 or even 200 something. It goes pretty high, but the thing is your monitor has to support it. Majority of monitors are what they call 60 hertz, which ha basically handles 60 frames per second. If you're running, say, on 100 frames per second, but you have a monitor that only handles 60, you're just kind of wasting that extra power because you can't see it because the monitor can't produce it. So if you're going to go over 60, make sure you go through and check out a monitor that supports 144 would be the probably the next good jump. You will pay more for it because there are not as many of them. And a lot of the monitors they still sell today still are 60. They don't pump them up, you know, they don't do it much. But make sure you take a look for that. So that's video number one. Video number two is going to go through and show you how to display ping on your screen. Ping is more of, I guess you'd refer to it as lag. Basically, it is how long it takes your computer to go talk to the Fortnite computers and then come back. They basically pinging it and that's where the phrase comes from. So number two is going to go through and show you how to display a ping on your computer. Now that you have both of them displayed, you want to play some games and see what happens. If you see any slowdowns, you want to look at your frames per second, see if they're dropping. If they're not, you want to look at your ping, see if it's going really high. One of those two is going to be the culprit. If your ping goes high, I got some videos for you and if your FPS is dipping I also got some videos for you so like I said frames per second we'll start with that you, you want to set it to 30 if you have a good computer maybe 60 I have a video that will go through and get the most out of it for you it's video number three down below it's gonna make your Fortnite run faster for you so go through and check it out I'll go ahead and post the link to that as well up here so go through and go through those settings first. That'll get a lot out of it for you and should bump it up pretty nicely. Next one is number four. This is basically how to boost lower end computers. It will help with other computers as well, but like your laptops, your computers that are really having a hard time playing it. Video number four is what you want to do first. Do number four. If you're still having some problems, then jump into number three and see if that'll give you the little extra to boost it through. Those are the FPS fixes. Next would be ping fixes. Video number five, I have great four tips to go through and help fix ping. Something about ping is it can only be, it's not always on your side. If it is on your side, these videos are gonna help. If it's not on your side, you just can't do anything about it. So reasons it wouldn't be on your side is if you're playing with a friend and he's from, say, Europe and you're from the U.S., you're going to be playing, if he's leader, you're going to be playing under his ping, which is going to be a while because instead of going to, you know, another state away to ping the server, now it's got to go all the way to Europe to ping the server. So it's very important to watch who the leader is and where their location is. But if it is fixable, video five will help it. And also video six is basically the same video except for new tips. And a lot, not many people have been checking out video six, which I'm kind of confused. Maybe I just didn't label it right or correctly. I actually just relabeled it before making this video. But video six is just as important as video five. So check out five after that, check out six. The lower your ping gets, the smoother your game's going to run as long as your frames per second are keeping up. Also for the last video I have is if you're on Windows 10 and you're on PC, I have another video, video number seven, which will go through and help with ping for Windows 10. So you can check that out, but before you do video number seven, I would try five and six first. And if you're still 
running slow, seven should go through and speed you up a little bit. So I'm gonna have all these links down below in the comments and also in the description. So you can go through and click on the links and I'll put as many as I can up on the top on the cards. And this should go through and help you. Right now, I'm going to just, if I have any links up there, that's future videos. So you might want to check those out. But if there's none yet, then there's no future ones. Just trying to make this so I can add stuff in the future. So everyone, I hope this helped you. I hope it got it working for you. If it did, please drop a comment and let me know. If you have any other questions, let me know down below. I do check comments, though I can't reply to everybody because comments have just been coming overwhelming lately. So I can only reply to so many. If you have any though, leave it down below. I'll do my best to answer. I want to thank you all for taking the time to check out this video. And I really do appreciate your time. You guys are rocking the channel right now. We are just blowing up and I'm loving it. Seriously, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Smack it. <laughs>